make sure that we're continuously relevant to the multinationals. And of course, what attracts multinationals to Ireland is an ever-changing thing. For instance, uh, w uh, most people are familiar with the high-level messages around Ireland about our talent pool, about the strong track record we have of successful investments, about our corporation tax regime, and about our technology capability. And then some softer things like the ease of doing business, English language, EU membership, etc. But really it's then what are you doing for the specific sector or the specific business model. And an example of that would be uh, if you were trying to attract biopharmaceuticals to Ireland. If you look at the investment that has gone into training and research infrastructure, we've invested 60 million in a new institute on the grounds of UCD, the National Institute for Bioprocessing Research and Training. That's going to train the workforce of the future, but also do research into how you make these complicated biopharmaceuticals. Also, such investments need about 50 to 100 acres of land, about uh, 1 to 2 million gallons of water a day, about uh, 20 megawatts of power. We have six of those sites around Ireland. Our track record from a regulatory environment is very, very important the Food, Drugs and Administration in the United States and the Irish Medicines Board. We have an exemplary track record. And there's a whole host of other things that make up the value proposition. Typically, companies have a list of between 10, to, uh, between 10 and 20 areas that they're scoring a country. So you can have your top line, your softer, but it's really the specifics of what you're doing for any one sector or business model. Well, we would see a strong part of the growth occurring in three sectors. The technology sector, which is very, very broad because it's the established players like the IBMs, the Intels, the Microsoft, to the new players, the Googles, the eBay, the PayPal. So the broad technology sector. Then the life sciences, which is medical devices, pharmaceutical and biopharmaceutical, and international financial services. There are other areas, but they're the three that will give us most of the employment and the investment. There are great opportunities at the moment in areas like analytics, like cloud, like big data. And of course there, there's going to be a huge worldwide demand because that big data and analytics goes right across all industry sectors. And it's very, very important a recent Science Foundation Ireland initiative to put substantial funding into the research agenda behind big data and analytics. Well, I'm sure in the future they will be, but it's a long haul, really. Uh, you know, there are great cultural differences. There are many, many countries that are in those markets, particularly China and India. They're much bigger countries than Ireland. And Ireland doesn't yet have a brand recognition uh, in the emerging markets uh, that uh, other countries. So it really is work in progress. We have, of course, some hits, particularly from India uh, and China, but not enough yet. If you go back to about 2006, 2007, with six offices in the US, three in Europe, and two in the emerging markets, growth markets. Today, we have 11 offices. We're present in three in China, in uh, Beijing, Shenzhen, and uh, Shanghai, we're active in Bangalore, Mumbai. We've also got people in Singapore, Moscow, San Paolo. Uh, recently put somebody into Seoul. So it is a big area of focus and it requires a lot of investment. Well, I think, uh, first of all, there is a worldwide demand for skills, particularly those related to the STEM, the science, technology, engineering and maths. That's definitely the case that anybody entering that track or that stream, I think the employment prospects will be very, very good. And then, of course, specific elements of areas like the biopharmaceutical, like certain aspects in medical devices, but generally broad business skills because a lot of the companies are running their EMEA operations out of here. But one area that I think is going to have huge growth, I mentioned it earlier, is the whole analytics and big data. Uh, I think worldwide there's going to be huge demand for skills in that area and there's an opportunity for Ireland to capitalise on that worldwide demand. Mm -hmm.